and this tutorial let's allow the user to start sending messages so for that if I go back to the API page so here and and the make and request tab here you have the documentation so I showed you this before and we used it in the postman so for that I will open it in the postman because it would be clearer for you so here we have the base URL and then here is the extension of the URL then we added the authorization which is the bearer token and we have it here and then this we can paste it for the body as raw data and I explained this before so here the body and I put it here okay now when I send request we will get the response as follow so we have here the ID um, object uh, and the modern name for example we are using the text of ng3 if you remember and then we have the choices and here we have the text that we need to display it for the user so in our case we mostly interested with the text and in order to access the text we need first to access the choices list then inside we need to access the text field okay and here they used text as a key and this is this is choices it is a list so it might have more than one item so let's get started and let's type this in our code um, I just wanted to say that for example if you go back to our code and go to the API service just try to play around with this function and try to build it by your own first so here you can use the post method and fill up everything else so you will understand better now to get started I will go to the constants and here and here if you remember we did this chat messages list we have here key called message and we have the chat index so we can create a new file and we can name it chat model dart and this is will be the model class for our chat so let's say um, that we can name it for example chat model so and in here as I showed you we will have the string the message string and of course it is a final and then we can add the chat index so I will name it here chat index like that and now we can create the constructor for it so let's say chat model and now in here we can give it the required message and then the required chat index just like that so this is done now we can proceed and start building the function and the API service so what I'm gonna do is that I will copy this function and I will add a comment here and then I will paste it and let's change this name let's say send message and it will take two different arguments which are the message so let's add a string here and we can name it message and then we can add the model ID okay like that and now if I go to the postman in here and the body we have this model and if you remember we allowed the user to choose his model so this is will be dynamic and then the user will send the different messages which is the prompt so we will allow the user to send different messages so this is why I'm passing it here okay now let's continue for this one it is a post method and the base URL we have it like that but then this will be different so in here in our case it will be like that and now for the header if you remember we had to add in here the content type and we have the authorization okay so for the content type I will copy it from here and it will be application JSON so let's go back and we can keep this one just like that and then here we can add the content type like that and we need to give it the value 
just like we did here just like that now I didn't get anything by myself of course everything you will find it in this documentation okay they put it here now let's get back to our code for this post you need to give it a body and in our case the body I already showed it to you so we have it here so basically we can just copy this we need to call JSON and code to it and paste what we have here of course the model would be the model ID we are sending the prompt would be the message that we are sending and the maximum token I showed you the difference and I'll show you again now so now we have long test as a response but if I put it for example 5 and send another request it will give us a short answer it won't give us the full answer okay but in my case I will just keep it 100 let's add a comma here and here now format our code okay so now you will get a response and it will be a map again and for the error handling it is the same case so now if I make any error here for example let's say like that and send I will get the same response as before okay so these lines we need it also now in our case as I said before we are interested in the choices so we are interested in this list and we have the text as a key let's get back what I will do is to delete all of these like that and then let's do an if statement if we have response or if we have the choices so what I will do basically is to check the JSON response that we already decoded and then we give it the choices key which is from here and then we can check the length because as I said it is a list and if the length is higher than zero it means that we have uh, a choices list so we will have the text absolutely now what I will do basically here is that I want to print in here what we have so I will use log and then let's print it let's say like that for example and then we access the text and now let's add the concatenation like that and then we need to access the text here like that and in here we are returning this list of models but of course in our case no we will return nothing for now okay so now we have our function and now let's go back to the chat screen and in here let's call the function send messages and uh, send message and we need to give it the required things so the message will be the controller of this text field dot text and then we need to give it the model ID and for the model ID we need to get it from the provider so we didn't define the provider here yet so what I will do is to get it from uh, from here so I'll copy this and then we need to listen to the changes so I'll keep it like that and now we need to import this and import the provider library or package and then we get it just like that okay and I will log the error better than the print now let's restart the application and let's see what will happen okay now press here I will print something here so let's say request has been sent for example okay so here I got uh, this error when I pressed so uh, let's get back to our code it's because for this list that we have the choices list we didn't specify the index here so I will use the first index 
and restart the application now and now press here now request has been sent let's wait the response and now yeah now it is correct here we have the response perfect so now before that I finalize this tutorial what I will do is the following first in the chat screen let's set state our typing and put it um, let's say equal here to true and then let's add a finally block and again put it equal to false and of course I'm getting an error because it is a final we changed it here so now I restart it okay and of course now it's still showing here we need to change this to false now restart the application again and now it is being shown like that um, something is wrong so let's check and here in the F statement only these three dots should be appearing okay so only these uh, the three dots should be inside of the F statement so uh, the closure will be here okay now I will start it again and let's see here it is now it is working let's test it for the uh, let's press here and now here it is here's the loader and when we have the response it should stop so let's wait perfect here it is and the response is correct in here okay so before that I end this tutorial let's go back to the chat model and if you remember in the models model in here we have created this from JSON factory constructor so let's do the same for the chat so what I did is that I copy the code from there and in our case we need to use chat model and we will have the message and then we will have the chat index so for the chat index the key it was chat index so I'll keep it just like that chat index and in here instead of the ID we need to give it the message and of course we don't need this and in here it should be our chat model so with this we did our from JSON now I think you already know what I want to do is that we need to return in here a list of chats so let's return it here so let's define a list of a chat model and of course I got an error because we need to return something so now inside of this F statement I will comment this line for you and then let's define a list here of a chat model on here capital L so let's say list of chat model let's name it list um, or chat list let's say and initially it will be empty and then this chat list let's put it equal to I mean let's generate a new list from the choices list that we have okay so the length will be this length of course and now we can call our chat model and we need to give it the message and the ID and the chat index I mean okay first let's format our code and now it's clear perfect so for the message again we need to access it just like that okay and instead of zero we can access it by the index and the index is coming from here and as I said this is this is choices it is a list so it might has more than one choice okay so more than one item in it okay and for the chat index this is a bot so it will be always one because we agreed to to put the user on the index of zero and the bot on index of one and finally here we need to return our chat list and that's it now this is a chat list we can access it from uh, from uh, the message function here that we already type so we can define for example let's say final uh, list equal 
to this. And if you check the type here, it is list of chat model because this function is returning list of chat model. Okay, so we will manage this list in the next tutorial and we will start showing the items on the screen. So I'll see you in the next one.